back to Linda's Pantry, and as you saw in the title, I'm prepping and canning the jars for storage. And I also am giving you the results of my experiment, whether these beans that were not soft enough, um, and I explained that in my last video, they just never softened, and they were on the stove for over nine hours. So I wanted to see if this would finish the cooking process. It seems to have thickened up quite a bit, so I'm guessing it might have worked. So instead of throwing that whole pot of delicious baked beans away, we get to have these. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my jars. And what I do is I get all the rings off and I wash them by hand. I never put my rings through the dishwasher because it deteriorates that thin metal and you end up throwing them away sooner. So these jars you do have um, where the in the canning process there will be some liquids seep out. It I've never had that necessarily uh, change whether my jars seal or not. These sat on the counter overnight. And the split pea soup thickens up. It gets quite thick at the bottom, but that's okay. So get the soapy water, wash the whole jar. Obviously your lid is staying on and set them over there to dry and then I can label them. And in the next video, I will show you where I store them and how I store them and what I've changed over the years, how I've done things. So let's get that bean jar open and cleaned. This one, it, it leaked a lot and the headspace went down just a little bit, but it makes the outside of the jar and the water in your canner messy. I've already washed my canner and put it away. So if you like these kind of videos and you need more information on home canning and what to do or how I do it, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And um, I always recommend that you use uh, reputable guidelines for canning because don't follow directions from somebody on YouTube unless you know that they're following guidelines from um, uh, like the ball canning book or something like that. So these are the baked beans and I'm, ooh, nice seal. And we are going to, ooh, nice consistency. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste, but I wanna get some beans up here. There we go. Smells good. Sometimes canning also changes the taste of food, so um, keep that in mind. And uh, like this, I wouldn't have done a whole can or load to try this. Mm. I'll be doggone. Okay. That totally softened the beans. They no longer have that bite, that hard bite. They're still sweet and delicious. I absolutely love them. I will say though, um, I think that the bay in this came out a little bit stronger than it did um, in just the stove top. So cooking. guys, I hope this so, inspires you. Somehow, it maybe helps you out a little bit. And um, I can't wait to see you next time. I certainly hope that if you like this video, you give me a thumbs up, share it on your Facebook page, and be sure and check the links below because I'll leave a link to my All-American Canner. It's absolutely the best. And in the next video, you'll see the jar boxes. I'll try to find a link for those too. All right, guys.